Hello everyone, my name is Sign Dick and welcome to the Okami Squadron channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about has sections. This was recently changed in a new update, making it so I have to remake my old video to be now updated for the new format. Has sections are very useful for anything that really requires anything more advanced, changing based on values or permissions, anything like that, to allow the panel to show the player what they need, what they have, what they don't, all that kind of stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, consider subscribing for more of my videos. Hope you all are having a great day, and let's get on into it. So to start, I just have a brand new panel. All it is is new has with the title of new has the command of new has just so I can get to it with a quicker command and then one item that has nothing right now. So with the new system, everything always starts with a has. So it has zero, just like that. You always have to have the zero first and then it goes up every time you use another one in the same row. So then once you have that, you can go in two spaces in always use spaces, never use tabs. Now you're going to need a value zero and a compare zero, just like that. And these are the two things you will always need when it comes to a has section. They're pretty much what says you have to compare this with this. And if it's true, then show the item, all that kind of stuff. So we'll start with has value just cause it is the easiest one to start with. Before this, we're going to do tiny tank 800 in the value. And then for the compare, we are going to do CP player name so this is a placeholder with command panels that will return the name of whoever has the panel open and if their name is tiny taking 100 then show the item so for this we are going to make a material and we're going to make it cps equals tiny tank 800 like that and then we'll give it a name you are tiny tank 800 so for this example, if your name is tiny tank 800, it'll show this item. And if it's not, it'll show this one. So red wool with this name. So this right here is the default or fallback item. So what I'm going to do is rename this. So default slash fallback item. So the default or fallback item, basically if one of these is not true, it'll move all the way back to the default item and show this one. Or let's say you have one has section that's true and one that's false. So only one of those will be true or false. The fallback item will only be there if something goes wrong and causes the panel to break or something like that. And then it'll show this beginning item again. This must always be there. You cannot get rid of it. If you do, it'll give you like material not found or error in config. So make sure you have this here. But now that we've gone over the has value, let's go test it in game. So once you're in game slash CPR, and now if we do new has for me, just like that, it says you are tiny tank 800. Since panel refreshes on and I'm on 1.17, for some reason there's a weird bug where the head will change again all the way to the Steve. So if you make it static, it won't actually update and it'll stay at the correct head. But it says you are tiny tank 100. And now if I change the name that it's checking for to something else, so I'll just do tiny tank instead of with the 800. And I'll show you exactly what it shows after that. CPR, new has, and now you can see since it's looking for the name Tiny Tank and I'm Tiny Tank 800, it'll show the default or fallback item. So that's the basics of has value. Now we'll move to has perm. So for has perm, we are going to take the value and we are going to make this the CP player name. So CP player name and then has perm in all caps. So this is checking if this player has the permission and then for the compare we are now going to change it to the perm we want to check so for this i'm just going to do rank dot iron just like that so again this right here is who has the panel open so it's checking whoever has the panel open has the permission this perm and if they do it'll open this item and if not it'll show this item so i'm just going to change the material to green wool and the name, I'm just going to say has permission, just like that. So now if we go in game and test this slash CPR when you're in game and we open it up, it says I do not have the permission and we've gone back to the fallback item. So then if I use luck perms to give myself the permission, so user tanking 100 permission set rank dot iron to true. And now we open it, you'll see it shows green wool and we have the permission. So that's the basics of has perm. 
I believe you can change the name that is at the beginning because we are currently using the placeholder, but I believe you can change it to someone else's name and check if they have permission using that. Or you can set it up to be some random player's name and make some sort of, I don't know, permission like placeholder system, some weird way, if you'd like to do that. But most cases you'll be using the way we have it set up now. So again, player name as perm and what we're comparing it to. And then that'll be what it shows. So then we have has greater, but in this case it is now is greater. So we're going to do the same sort of thing with this, except for instead of being player name, we're going to do player balance. This will hook up to your economy, whatever economy you have, and it'll check their balance. And then for this, we're using is greater, just like that. And then we're going to compare it to a number that we want it to be greater than. So we'll just do 500. So player balance will return the balance of the player as a panel open. It's checking if it's greater than 500. If it is, show this item. If it's not, show this item. So I'm just going to say has money just so we know. And now if we go in game and test slash CPR new has, you'll see it says we have money. And then if I do eco set myself to zero and now we open it, we do not have enough money for it and it'll show the other item. So that's how you would use is greater or has greater, whatever you want to call it to check if a number or some sort of placeholder is greater than the number you set. So again, player balance is greater than 500. Show this item, if not show this item. So those are the basics of the has sections, but now we're going to go into the advanced stuff. In the recent update, we changed how the has sections work and we also added operators. So now you can do and or or. So those are the two different operators. And then you also have not, which is basically if you use the old version, that was what output was, but now it is not. And you'll be putting that to check if it is not that and that kind of stuff. So we'll go over those real quick. So I'm going to start with and. So as you can see, there's a zero at the end of the values and compares. And this is because of the new and systems. Now, if we do value one and compare one, and then at the end of this compare, we're going to do and. So I'm going to add this in quotes and then we're going to do a space and do and. So now what we can do is check something. So I'm going to check if CP player name as perm. And then we're going to compare it to, we'll do rank.iron. As money and permission, just like that. So what this is doing is it is checking if their balance is greater than 500 and they're, they also have the permission rank.iron. If so, show this. And again, make sure that you do compare one and value one and then compare zero and value zero. You can do as many of these as you want. You just have to constantly keep adding the and to it. This will only show this item. You can't make it so that this one will only show this or this one will only show like this. You will have to make it so if you're doing the and, It'll make it so that if they have both of these, it'll show this item. So if we go in game and test this CPR, you'll see it says default or fallback. And this is because I do not have money. I do have the permission, but I don't have the money. So now if I set my money to a thousand and open it back up, you'll now see it says has money and permission. But now if we get rid of the permission, just like that you'll now see it says default item. So that makes it so you have to have both values as true. And if you don't, it'll show the other item. If you have both of them, it'll show the item you want. So this is good if you want to shorten up your code and not have to check like multiple different things in different has sections. You can do it all in one and then just show the final item that way. So again, value and compare zero, and then you do whatever you're checking. So balance is greater than 500. You add the and inside of the compare and then you do a value one and a compare one of whatever you want to check again. And if both of them are true, show this item. If one of them or both of them are false, show the other item. So that's how those work. Now we're going to work with or. So you just change and for or. And what this is going to do is it's going to show this item if they have their balance greater than 500 or if they have the permission. So instead of needing both, you will only need one of these and they can be whatever they want. So you can have it so multiple permissions go to one thing, or if your balance is over a certain amount, but you don't have the permission, you still can do it. So for this example, it's just going to be if you have 500 
or if you have the rank. So now if we go in game slash CPR, let me do new has, you'll see it says we have money and permission. And since we just recently got rid of the permission, now we can get rid of the money. And now if we open it, it shows the fallback item because we don't have either. But if we give ourselves permission again, it'll show the item just like that. So that is how you would use or again, the or is just checking if you have the first one or if you have the second one, show the item. If you don't have any of them, show the other item. So that's how we'd use or now we're going to go over not. And this is basically, again, the output of the old version. But now that's in the new version, you have to use not. So what we're going to do is get rid of the player balance and then change these to zero and zero. And what we do is at the beginning, we add not in capitals. Make sure you space it again. So this is checking if the player does not have the permission rank iron show this. So then we can do does not have perms just like that. Now, if we go in game and test slash CPR, I just set the permission to true. So now if we look in it, it'll show the fallback item because we have the permission and it's checking if we don't have the permission. So now if I give it the false and now I don't have the permission and we look at it, it'll show that we do not have perms. So this is useful for say like rank menus. If you're trying to check if they don't have the perm and then allow them to buy it. But if they do, you don't want them to buy it again. You can use this to do that. So that is the basics of the not operator. Again, for the not, you are just doing player name has perm and then it's not at the beginning. You can do this with other ones than just has perm. You can use it for has value or has greater. All it's doing is checking if they do not have that. So if you did is greater, it would check if they didn't have enough money. And if you're using a value, it would check if it was not the value, that kind of stuff. So now I'm gonna go over some advanced stuff Basically, we're going to use multiple has sections. So instead of just having one has zero, we're going to add another one. So for this example, we're going to make a new line, go backwards two. we're going to do has one and you have to make sure it goes up. So has zero has one zero will be the highest priority because basically it's going to start at zero. Check if they have it. If this is true, show this item and then it will not continue. But if this one is false, it'll look through this one. If this one's true, it'll show this item. But if this one's false, it'll show the fallback or default item. So just always keep that in mind. Zero is the highest priority and the lower or the higher the number, the lower the actual priority is. So again, we're going to do value zero and then we're going to do compare zero and then I'm just going to add a material and a name just like that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do basically the same thing we have up here except for I'm going to do without the not so we're checking if they have the permission so this one's checking if they don't this one's checking if they do so we'll just copy this over just like that and then we'll do green wool and we'll say you do have permission and for this we're going to do red wool as you don't have permission so the first one is checking if they don't have the perm. Second one's checking if they do have the perm. So let's go in game and test this. So it says we do not have the permissions because we don't have them. We set them to false earlier. So it shows that item. And then if we set it to true and open it, you'll now see it says we do have permission. So that is how you can use multiple high sections to show different things. They don't have to be the exact same. They don't have to be just the opposite of each other. They can be whatever you want. It'll just go down the line until it finds one that's true. So that's how you can use multiple has sections. Now we're going to go over nesting. So nesting is kind of like using the and operator like before, but instead of making it so it only shows one item, we can set it up so that each level in what you can call like the staircase or the ladder will show a different material each time. So for this, we're going to check if they don't have the permission and then inside of it, we're going to do has zero. So make sure so what I was talking about earlier with the line. So this line, as you can see, they're on the same line. So this one has to be one or else this one wouldn't work. But since this one's on this line, there's no other has section. So we're going to name it zero. Now we're going to do value zero, compare zero, material, and name. For this, I'm going to do you have enough 
money. And I'm going to do an emerald. And for the compare, I'm doing 500. So we're checking if they have $500. So like before, we're going to use CP player balance and is greater than 500. If so, show this item. So for this example, it is checking in the first has section if they do not have the permission. If they don't have the permission, it'll move to this one and check if they have enough money. If they have enough money, we can allow them to buy the perm. I'm not going to set that up right now. But that is how you would do a nest. So inside of this first has section, you have a nested second has section. And again, this is just like the and operator, except for it's just going to do in each step. So if this one's true, it'll show this item. And then if this emerald is not true, it'll stay on this item. But if it is, it'll show the emerald. So now if we go in game and test, slash CPR. And now if we open it, you'll see it says you do have permission because we have the permission and we're checking if we don't have the permission. So if we get rid of it. And then we also set our economy to zero just to make sure we don't have any money. You'll see it says you do not have permission, but it doesn't say we have enough money. So now if we set it to a big number, so let's do a thousand since we're checking for 500 and we want it to be greater. So we'll just do a thousand just to be safe. You'll now see it shows an emerald saying we have enough money. So it checked that we did not have the perm, which we did not. So then it checked if we have enough money and we do. So then it shows the emerald. And since we don't have the permission, it does not show the one that says we have the permission and that kind of stuff. So that is how you can set up some advanced panels that check for multiple things. For example, like rank menus, they use these a lot. On the Okami Squadron website, we have a rank panel on there and it uses a ton of these to check if you have the permission, if you don't, and if you have lower or higher ranks, just to make sure you can't buy, duplicate, skip, or anything like that through the ranks. So if you want an example, you can always download that for free on our website and you can check it out. It uses a ton of these, very good for learning but that's nesting. So that's the basics of how to use has sections with the new update. This is only for versions higher than 3.17.0.0. If you're using anything below that, you'll have to use the old version. I will leave the video up if you're using anything lower than that, but I always recommend that you use the latest version mainly for extra features or fixes since a lot of older versions have had bugs before. So getting those fixed is very helpful. So hopefully this helped you guys out. If it did, please leave a like. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. I will also be leaving the wiki page for command panels and the discord in the description. So if you want to go inside their discord and ask any questions, we will be there to help you whenever we can. But again, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Consider subscribing for any more of my future uploads. Hopefully you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one.